Hello everyone. So today I was actually um, just uh, wondering whether I should uh, review again or maybe go back and uh, try to uh, open a website in uh, Emacs. To be honest, uh, it is possible. I mean, Emacs can do a lot of wonderful things. And I have made this uh, video in the past, I believe. I think, yeah, I made this video. I mean, in fact, a couple of videos. But uh, I don't really use uh, Emacs for web browsing. But I think if you want to check how accessible your site is. Now, if, if you're not really sure about accessibility, I think uh, you should take a look at it because accessibility is uh, in, I believe in some countries it is a requirement, but uh, uh, not maybe for maybe not really for each and every kind of site. Maybe if you are doing something for public or maybe if it is a government site, then I'm sure it is a requirement. And there are some, you know, some, some guidelines like WCGA guidelines where level two or something like that, which uh, is something that will tell you how you should build a site. And, uh, and if you are a web developer, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about a, talking about an expert. If you, let us say, uh, are considering creating your own website, maybe you want to build your own resume, or maybe you want to build your own profile, or maybe you want to just have a website because I think you should. I think you should try to make sure that your web website is uh, not complicated. It is not very difficult to browse. Uh, of course, you know, on the, on the on the browser, like when you are using your traditional browsers like Chrome, brave whatever i i guess maybe not i edge uh, then uh, it will tell you of course you know the visual appeal of it but uh, not uh, everyone uh, is same P people with some visual impairments uh, they might rely on uh, screen readers and of course there, there are tools there are online ways to check it but i think as a developer if you are or maybe just as a you know uh, as a person who is trying to build a website there are a few things that you need to always Ensure. Now, what I'll do, I'll probably just open my website, which is uh, ravisaga.in in Emacs. So you need to use uh, MetaX, E W W, and you can of course type in the URL of your uh, of your website, which is uh, ravisaga.in. And uh, this website is, of course, right now because I have the images. Um, can I toggle the images here? I guess I can, right? org toggle inline images oh so it doesn't really work here maybe maybe there, there is a way but anyways so uh this is my website of course and you, as you can see it looks quite uh i mean it, the, it, there are a lot of things it, it is not really looking wonderful but good thing about uh, drupal is because this site is built using drupal drupal is actually very good in uh in uh, taking care of your uh, you know accessibility you have to just ensure that uh, you know when you have some elements on i just destroyed this thermocall background but whenever you have something uh, uh in your website like some elements make sure you follow some kind of hierarchy let's say you have a page the title is h2 or h1 maybe and uh, maybe h2 h3 h4 and so on so follow some kind of a uh, some kind of a hierarchy and if you have images you show you have some alt tag so that you know it is easy for everyone to understand what this image is all about but th this is my website and as you can see it is not bad to be honest i'll be honest it is not really bad and uh, if you of course want to go back or sorry go and in, go inside a page you can of course click on it so of course you can uh, see here that you know this is my navigation menu on top this is my header image i'm of course talking about uh, you know the course details like i have these links and these links are of course again uh, going to take me to the to that particular video which i have for that particular uh, uh, for that for that particular uh, subject or topic now this is of course a simple website but uh, if we talk about uh, something which is uh, a bit more uh, than this i mean not massively complicated but uh, slightly more elements on the on the website so i'll open my company website sparkses.com and uh, this looks uh, okay so i'm not really able to oh yeah the, the images are coming but it is a bit slow so it is it is telling us that yeah i need to probably improve so of course the images are looking fine this is my you know these are my header images and uh, these are my main items that i have so it is looking okay so this is of course again drupal site again it looks a bit similar but i do have like a simple website for example uh, ravi.pro which is a very simple website which i actually built and maintain using nothing but org mode so this is what a site should look like uh, very simple 
easy to manage uh, easy to navigate site and uh, if i go to my 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 blogs i can of course you know click on it and uh, these are all my blogs and i think someone was recently asking me about uh, my org mode configurations which i have actually shared if you go to this link blogging with emax and org mode i'm actually working on a um, update version of this page this, this is basically a place where you'll find uh, like all the information i mean i've shared quite a lot like my emax configurations and uh, my dot init file uh, which is of course useful if, if you want to also uh, I mean, I, I don't really think it is the whole file, but it, it is probably the, uh, the the portion of the file where I'm focused on the publishing, like publishing commands. So you can take a look, look at uh, this website. And uh, I have one more site called ravisagar.com, which is something uh, that is also built using simple HTML, but pure simple HTML, nothing else, absolutely nothing else. But to be honest, I actually prefer the org mode based site because it looks like simple old-fashioned neat clean site so i think this eww mode within emacs is quite good you should be able to um you should be able to actually use it to do some proper um web browsing if you if you really really need to uh, I, as, as I mentioned before, I don't uh, always use it. I mean, I, I use it sometimes, but of course, this Emacs is not really my primary source for consuming web-based content. I, of course, go to the browser uh, because that makes sense. But sometimes, you know, if I'm, let's say, uh, reading my own articles, for example, when I publish a blog, I can just, you know, open this site quickly and take a look at, oh, yes, the blog has been published. So the way I do publish my blogs, I, of course, have this, uh, folder called you know ravi.pro on my on my computer and i publish the entire directory or maybe the new blog it depends so usually i publish everything like the i do force publishing you don't have to but you know i do that so it will basically create uh, html files from org files and then of course uh, that particular target directory is where you can of course uh, version control it and i host these sites on gitlab gitlab is a, is basically a great way to host static sites and all you need to do you need to set up a pipeline on gitlab and uh, whenever you commit a new commit your code and push it gitlab gitlab will of course you know look at those new changes or you know whatever new files blocks or whatever you are cha changing any updates and it will do the publishing for you so usually after committing and pu pushing within like two minutes i have my site or new blog published here so if you're new to my channel, do, like, do take a look at my old uh, publishing videos where I sh have shared how to do these things. And that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today. Yeah, nothing too interesting, but hopefully I've given you some ideas and uh, hopefully you have enjoyed watching this video. All right. Bye-bye.